It's finally done. Now what the hell do I do? Okay, so you finished building your gaming PC and you just installed Windows 10 and you're sitting at your desktop right now. There's five things I'd recommend that you do. Now, the first thing you wanna do is actually download the drivers for your motherboard. So you wanna to go to the manufacturer website for the motherboard that you have uh, in your system. For example, here I'm using the ROG Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard from ASUS. So I just went to the website for that. Uh, from there, you'll usually see a support tab that you can click on and then a download section. Here's where you will find all of the various drivers for your motherboard. And the ones that we are looking for here primarily are going to be the audio, the LAN, and the chipset. These are the ones that you wanna download just to make sure like your audio is working correctly, your ethernet's working correctly, uh, SATA drives are functioning at the uh, maximum potential, uh, and things like that. So you wanna go ahead and uh, just simply go to the website and you'll usually see sections for each one of those drivers that you can download here. So here's the one for the audio. We'll just simply click download. Uh, and then there usually will be an executable file that you can uh, open up to uh, install that. Same with the LAN here. And then also uh, down here for the chipset. Uh, now, depending on the motherboard that you have, you may have some additional things that you can download like this uh, USB uh, one here. I have a separate controller for a couple USB 3.1 ports. So I would download the uh, Asmedia drivers for that. This stuff just ensures that the motherboard is working correctly. Um, now it's possible that you, if you don't download any of this stuff, Windows will install some generic driver for you uh, and it may work okay, but you'll definitely want to make sure you go ahead and, uh, and try to get the driver, the specific driver for that motherboard just to make sure everything is working. Uh, at, its, at the uh, best of its ability, basically. So the second thing is you wanna download the drivers for your graphics card. So whether you are using uh, an AMD graphics card or an Nvidia graphics card, all you wanna do is uh, just hit Google, type AMD drivers or Nvidia drivers, click the first option. Usually it'll take you to one of their websites where you can select the uh, graphics card that you are using and then download the drivers. Again, this is just going to ensure that uh, it works at the uh, be as best as possible. So in this case, I would just select uh, GeForce from the uh, NVIDIA website here for the product type. I'm using a 10 series graphics card as I'm using a GTX 1070. So I would just uh, select that from the list here. I'm using Windows 10 64 bit and then just hit search. From there, you will see an option to uh, download. Just follow the instructions from there and that will download the uh, drivers for your graphics card. So you pretty much got all of the drivers out of the way from here. Everything should be working correctly once you reboot your system. So from there, it goes on to downloading uh, any essential programs that you're gonna use on a regular basis. There is a website you can go to to make this a lot easier as it's just a one-stop shop where it'll automatically download all of the stuff that uh, you need in one place in the latest version and uh, just kind of greatly reduces the time needed. So you don't have to go to each website to you know, download things separately. And that's ninnight.com. Now I initially learned about this website through uh, I think like an old tech syndicate video. So I've been using it ever since. So just n-i-n-i-t-e.com. Uh, that'll take you to a website where you can pick the applications that you want to install on your system. And then from there, just hit your uh, get your ninnight and it will automatically grab those programs for you uh, and uh, it'll just be one giant download. So that just uh, makes it a little bit easier. But uh, just for example here, so I would use uh, you know Chrome or Firefox, depending on your preference there. There is uh, Thunderbird if you need an email program, VLC for watching video files, FUBAR2000 for playing audio files. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, if you need something, uh, if you need an image editing program, there is GIMP. There is LibreOffice if you need a Microsoft Office type program. Of course, we got to download Steam. Steam is the main place that you are going to uh, download your games. Not the only place, but it is the biggest place where you're going to, uh, to download more of your games. The biggest distribution platform uh, is what I should say there. So there's Steam, obviously, that you want to pick. And then if you are going to be doing any illegal downloads, of course you'll want 7-Zip to uh, unzip those archives. We're just kidding about that part. But 7-Zip uh, is an option as well. And uh, just, you know, whatever you want to do, just hit uh, get your Ninnite and uh, bam, it'll make a download for you. So yeah, that works out uh, pretty well there. And then 
The next option that I recommend that you do here, almost done by the way, is uh, you wanna download this program called ONO Shut Up 10. So as you guys know, Windows does send a little bit of your usage data back to Microsoft. So if you are paranoid about that and you don't want them having access to any of your shit for whatever reason, there is a program that will disable that stuff in Windows. Now you can definitely do this manually. Uh, it's gonna take a lot of time and you may mess something up, but if for whatever reason you just want to uh, download a program to make it quick and easy, this is the one that I recommend using. Uh, it's still updated actively. I know a lot of these programs come and go, but this one is still being actively updated. Uh, as far as I could tell, it looks like it was last, uh, there was an update last on 10-4-2018, so that's nice. Now from this point, we've pretty much got Windows the way that we want it. So we've got all of our drivers installed, we've got all of our software installed, we've disabled the Windows telemetry. The only thing you wanna do from this point is actually just make a backup of your install. That way, if for any reason, you know, if something goes wrong and you need to reinstall Windows, you don't have to do this all over again. So we're basically just going to save an image from this point. And there is a program that you can use to actually uh, do that, which makes everything pretty uh, simple and easy. And there is a program, it's called uh, Macrium Reflect. But uh, this is a program that will allow you to basically uh, save an image of your Windows install. So first thing that you would actually want to do is uh, just make a rescue boot media. So for any reason you're not able to boot to Windows, for some reason this will allow you to do so. So you want to uh, definitely create the uh, boot media first. Then from there you can create an image of your Windows partitions. Those are pretty much what I would recommend as far as kind of like uh, just base things that you would do once you have installed Windows 10 on your gaming PC. From here, there are some other stuff that you can download, uh, like MSI Afterburner is going to give you access to uh, overclocking your graphics card. You've got Hardware Info 64, which is going to uh, allow you to view like temps and stuff like that of your CPU and, and your graphics card. There's like Origin if you wanna download EA games, uh, Epic Games if you wanna download Fortnite, uh, stuff like that. So. That's pretty much it. Um, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below and if there are any other suggestions or things that you do once you've installed Windows 10. So I'm gonna get out of here guys. Thanks for uh, checking out this video. I will see you guys next time. See ya. Damn! You did good, Jerry, you did good. Now what the hell do I do?